I'm Kristen Archer and I run the blog iHeartHamilton.ca and it's a blog based around the concept of being a tourist in your own city. Alright, so I'm here today at the Eye of Faith headquarters here in downtown Hamilton and I knew Paul and Aaron would be the perfect source to help me pick some records for my next discography set because they've got tons of classic records to choose from and uh, I love their, their vibe, their whole aesthetic, so I knew they would add a lot uh, to my set and it's awesome to visit today and uh, peruse their records. I love the classics, especially at a night like discography, I feel like anything goes and uh, it's good to incorporate new hits, old hits, so digging into some more classics. <laughs> I've got the Beach Boys here, I think this is another one that will be a crowd pleaser for everyone, people can dance to, uh, good sunny vibes, so yeah. Next I've got Diana Ross's Greatest Hits, another classic. I was doing some record shopping recently and picked up a Supreme's Greatest Hits, so I think that's definitely something everyone's got to have in their collection, that Motown sound, and uh, that always goes over really well with a crowd, lots of crowd pleasers on this one. I've always been obviously a huge music fan and supporter, so I started um, deep dabbling into DJ. I think the first one I ever did was uh, for Super Crawl. Uh, 2014 and I just on a whim got asked by the St. Hollywood to uh, open up for Rich O'Coin and just DJ before he went on stage and he's one of my favorite performers so that kind of started the bug that was just DJing with laptop uh, and then thanks to Mark and Andy who host discography at the Baltimore House once a month um, I was a bit, such a huge supporter of those nights so from seeing them DJ using only vinyl I kind of started to get an interest in that and thought I would love to give that a try sometime so Mark Dr. Disc was awesome in kind of showing me the basics, showing me the ropes on the turntables, and from there I just started building my own little record collection and testing it out. So I DJed out for the first time last February, and uh, yeah, I've just done a few, few things from there. It's cool to get to know the mechanics. I still have a lot to learn. I can't really do the technical stuff as well as Mark and Andy can, but it's been cool to kind of develop an ear for it, know what you're looking for, and building sets, and it's always a lot of fun to put a set together. The Dream Girls Broadway soundtrack, and uh, it's been a dream of mine to incorporate a musical of some sort into my set, whether it's like, starting off the set with something unexpected or maybe stopping the set and dropping a Broadway tune. And uh, this one has got that disco vibe to it, it'll go well with the Donna Summer record I have, and uh, definitely want to incorporate this into a set. Pat Benatar, Crimes of Passion, and uh, another staple for any set of mine is having some real strong ladies, girl power anthems, so this is going to be a perfect one to include in the mix. I'll be DJing next on Sunday, February 14th at the Baltimore House. It's the long weekend Valentine's Day edition of Discography. So I'll be DJing right at 10 p.m. followed by DJ Mark and DJ Andy. And Discography is always so much fun. So definitely come on out and uh, spend Valentine's with us.